Man, what's your name, bro? What he say? Hey, young man. Hey, your mother's telling you to turn around. I'm talking to you because ain't nobody talking to you since you've been sitting there. So what's your name, man? Huh? Shy? That's your name? All right, so Shy, how old are you? 13, right? 13, you play sports or something? What'd he say? What'd he say? He's about to play. Why? I can't hear you. Come here, man. Come up, come up, come up. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you, because we done dealt with your moms for a minute. And we ain't through as long as she want to stay, but I, got, I can't let you leave without talking to you either. So why are you playing sports? What's, what do you want? What do you want out of sports? Cause sports right now is it going on right now? With all this COVID nineteen stuff, so you could be out of a job if everybody just gets sick and you you done, right? So what do you want out of sports? Why would you play sports? Right. Hey, listen to this right here, Shy. Listen to this. Second time you stepped in ten first four. You know yeah. right here ain't just for you. This is for all our brothers that's walking around here the same way. Listen to what this says. Read. Wherefore had none. Took David's servants mm -hmm. and shaved off the one half of their beards. Now, this is going into a shameful thing that they used to do to our men. So this person in the Bible actually took David, King David, our ancestor. King David was our ancestor. So they took his servants and they shaved off their beard. Because we got men walking around with no beards. You ain't old enough to grow yours yet, but listen up, read. And cut off their garments in the middle. And cut off their garments in the middle. If you chop off your pants in the middle, what's showing? What's exposed? If, the, if somebody cut off the middle, what is exposed? Your butt. That's walking around sagging your pants, bro. Pull your pants up, man. That's right. Pull them up. Because all these men walking around here should pull them up, too. Walking around, that, that was actually a jail house thing. That people was taught that in jail. You know why they used to do that in jail? Bring it up. Listen up, shy. Why do you think men used to sag their pants in jail? Bring it up. To show that they was available for another man right, to have right. sex with them. Right. That's why. So when our men walk around here sagging their pants in the hood, thinking it's cool, you really showing that you effeminate. Right. That's what's going on with him. Bring it up. And because of that, now you dress like that because you think it's cool because another grown man told you it was cool to do so. And ain't nobody ever told you to pull your pants up except probably your moms. But now you ain't listening to her. Right. Guess what's going to happen to you if you don't listen to her? Read on and then we're going to go where we need to go. Even to their buttocks and send them away. Uh -huh. When they told it unto David. So these men pants, they behind was exposed and they told it to David. Read on. He sent to meet them uh -huh. because the men were greatly ashamed. Our men should be ashamed right. of themselves to right. be dressed like that. Yeah, that's right. So, hey, you 13, why don't you show a grown man how to dress? That's right. Because we out here, most of us young, most of us in our 30s and 40s and 20s, we showing our older men. We got men older than us walking around with their pants by their ankles. Right. Right. And they think yeah. they cool. And they think they cool. So if you can't listen to your mom, so we done told her about, she got to come out of the pants. She got to repent. She got to start being more effeminate, more like a woman, because she also got daughters. But she also got you. So she got to show you what to look for in a woman. Or you going to mess around and mess up. Yep. Just like a lot of us have. Let's get Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6, 1. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Hey, child, listen up. That moped ain't showing you nothing. That moped ain't cool. That moped ain't showing you nothing. It's distracting you for what you really need to be listening to. Right. And ain't nobody ever talked to you like this. So I know it may sound a little aggressive, but I got a son that's 17 and I talk to him the same way. Right. And I got a 10 year old and a two year old. I actually talk to him the same way. Cause I'm not playing. You ain't gonna show me up. You ain't gonna come out here and, and act like everybody else. You have to be better than that. That's who you are. Right. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. But if you was paying attention today, you would have learned that with your mother instead of sitting over there not listening. And she done told you to get up. She told you to address me and you wouldn't do it. So read the Bible. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Uh -huh. Children, obey your parents. Children do what? Obey your parents. You don't have an option with God. That's it right. ain't going to be her that put you to death. It's going to be God that That's do right. it. That's right. right. You understand that? God is going to be the one. That, all these young men that die in, in the hood, when they get shot by another young man, people think that, uh, oh, the devil did it. No. 
God did it. That's right. And God, God kills everybody. The devil ain't killed nobody. Bring it out. Because God said, go and do it. Read. Obey your parents Read. in the Lord. Uh -huh. For this is right. For this is right. So why in the world would you go do wrong and disrespect your mother out here in front of me? Right. That's not going to happen. I'm going to say something. That's why I'm up here, because I saw you sitting over there. She listening, and you sitting over there trying to edge her to leave. Right. You are. And she trying to help you out. Read. Honor thy father and thy mother. You have to show her honor. You have to show her honor, because if you don't, you're going to get put to death, young man. Right. right. That's what God going to do. Look, we ain't going to do it. We ain't going to be the ones to do it. God is, and while you're sitting there and you're afraid for your life, you're going to be saying, Lord, please save me. And he's going to laugh at you because you ain't listening to him. Right. Because, right. look, people think God won't kill a young man. God won't kill kids. But yet and still, we also know that God flooded the earth, didn't he, with Noah, right? Only eight people live, right? You don't think it was babies back then? <laughs> you don't think it was kids your age back then? And they all got drowned to death by God. That's right. right. And everybody walked around saying, oh, he died too soon. No, you died when you were supposed to because you weren't listening. That's right. You know? Read. Honor thy father and mother. Read. Which is the first commandment. It's the first commandment with what? With promise. With promise. You obey your mother and do what she say while she's telling, she ain't telling you to do nothing wrong. You live long. Right. That's the promise. Right up. You don't die young. Our young men die in the hood young because they disrespect their parents every day. And then they walk out the door and get shot by a straight bullet. Or they in the game and then they get shot by their man next to them because they want their money. Bring it out. Because ain't nothing but a whole lot of backstabbing going on. What happened down there in Charleston? What? A brother, uh, darn people got into it, young men, and go shoot up a crowd and kill 11 people. That's right. That's what happens when people don't listen to their moms and pops. Bring it out. You understand, Shot. You get it. Because this right here is not a game, bro. It's not a game. Is there anything else on that? Read on. That it may be well with thee, that, that thou mayest live long. That thou mayest do what? What's the promise? Live how long? That thou mayest live long. So if you were supposed to die at 40, the most I might extend that thing to make it 80. Right. All because the way you treat your mother. Right? Yep. But what if it's the opposite? What if you were supposed to live till you 40 and you don't? Now your mother have a funeral for you in a few years. You know. You understand? That's in the Bible. We're reading this out of your book. This book belongs to you. Right. That's right. It don't belong to everybody else. It don't belong to white people. It don't so-called white people because ain't none of them the color of this board I'm standing on. Right. They red. That's why we say so-called white people. It don't belong to Chinese people. It belonged to you. Right. You know. And we got people in the city rioting and everything else going crazy. And I can guarantee you, they mama and them said, don't y'all go out there and be in that crowd. Now they the ones, look, they get one so-called white person throw a brick through something. Now all the black people are like, what's well, you? He threw one. What's well, you? I'm going to go throw one. Bring it up. And then they be the ones to go to jail because the first white dude that threw it was a police officer just waiting on you to throw yours. Bring it so up. I can lock you up. That's what they do. This is not a game, bro. Your mama tell you to do something and she ain't tell you to do nothing wrong. You should run to do it because if you don't, you messing with God then. That's right. You ain't messing with her no more. You messing with God then. Right. That's right. It's better for her to get on you than for God to get on you because she can't save you from God. Right. Nobody can. Right. You understand that? So don't be sitting up here, man, disrespecting your mom. When she say something to you, you move. All right? What you say? What you say? When she told you to turn around and talk to me, why didn't you turn your back? Say so You say because it's hot? Your mama out here hot. Shoot, she packed you for nine months in heat. You see what I'm saying? So she packed you in the dead of summer. You extra hot in her belly. I can tell you that right now. She packed you for nine months, and that makes you hot. Shoot, she out here burning up packing you, and you talking about, oh, it's hot. You 13 years old, you don't know what hot is. Right. You don't know what hot is. Hot is when you got to go provide for family and kids, and that's what you got to worry about. All you worry about right now is you. She worried about you and your other sisters. You understand? That's being hot. This ain't hot. This is nothing right here. It's shoot, it's hot when most I burn this place up, and if you don't be on the cherries to go with them. That's hot because you can't get away from fire. You're going to be standing right there in bones before you drop dead. That's how this thing going to go down. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.